Hello friends, today's current affairs SNT health and environment for 34th week module number 1 is biofuel from agro waste. Let us jump into this module right now. What is biofuel? Biofuel is the combustible fuel that is created that we get from biomass and biomass is the organic matter that is coming from the living things. It is produced by contemporary some new age biological process and what are the sources? The sources are agricultural produce, the agricultural waste, algae and even the garbage that we produce every day. And why it is important? Because of the viable replacement of petroleum fuels or fossil fuels can be used in the existing engines where we are using already petroleum fuels. That means they are a very good alternative to the depleting fossil fuel. What are the difference between the two? Let us come to biofuel and fossil fuel difference. Biofuel is made by biological process. Okay? Well, fossil fuel is made by geological process. Geological means under the earth. The most important process of making biofuel is one of them is fermentation of yeasts. Well, fossil fuel is made by under the earth by large amount of heat and high pressure. So, biofuel is made on the earth surface and fossil fuel is produced below the earth surface. Biofuel takes relatively less time to produce. Within our own lifetime, we can uh, produce lots and lots of biofuel. But in case of fossil fuel, remember, they takes millions of years to produce. Biofuel can be produced in cultivable lands where they can be produced anywhere across the continents. Well, fossil fuel is not available in all the countries. Some countries are deficit in fossil fuels. So, they can take biofuels. So, that is why biofuels are one very important scientific technology that we are using on the new generations. What are the different extractions or different types of biofuel? We generally tell biofuels are extracted as four different generations. Let us come to the first generation. Now, first generation is produced from the food crops. Okay? So, the food crops or the edible part of the food crops such as maize, potato or the sugar cane, these are actually converted and used as fuels. Second generation is having a different approach. It is going to convert the hard uneatable part okay, like wood or like grasses and the other inedible parts of the agricultural produce and they will also generate biofuel. So, biofuels can be produced by different mechanisms. So, there is first generation produced from the food crops directly from the edible parts. Second generation produced from the inedible parts of the crops. There are two more types of generations. One is the third generation and lastly the fourth generation or we call advanced biofuel. The third generation is uh, produced by some algae okay, who can have natural oil content who is found in wastewater and have high natural oil content more than 50 percent. Okay, those are used to extract which we call third generation biofuel. And lastly, we have advanced level, the fourth generation which are engineered biomass which the scientists are thinking to convert entire waste of the earth to biofuel. So, that is the advanced generation. So, let us come to the extraction, to the main point, the extraction of first generation biofuel. You see two different types. Okay? One we see a food crop, suppose say corn which has sugar content. So, we get sugar that will be fermented and produced bioethanol and bioethanol is one kind of biofuel that will be taken and added to petrol. So, this is one kind of first generation biofuel. Another kind of biofuel will be extracted from the cash crops say sunflower seeds or rape seeds. 
those seeds will be producing some oil by the process called that transesterification and they will produce the oil which we call biodiesel and because it is a diesel it can be added to the diesel the fossil fuel diesel and it can be blended into the present diesel so these are the two types of first generation biofuel one is bioethanol and one is biodiesel before that let us come to the conversion of bioethanol there is a term called as fermentation this is a process which we need to understand okay the process takes place when sugar is acted upon by yeast and they break the sugar down into ethanol or ethyl alcohol and they release lot of carbon dioxide this is why your cake remains soft we add yeast powders to our cake to make it soft because the yeast always acts on some sugars to produce ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide and when this yeast is taken on a large scale the sugars can be produced they can be converted into alcohol or ethyl alcohol and the process is very well used in distilleries to make beer or wine and the process is called fermentation and this is the same process the bioethanol is also been produced so let us come to the two types of first generation biofuel we have bioethanol and biodiesel well bioethanol is coming from the food crops biodiesel is coming from the crops the seeds which can give which can produce oil so these are the two different types of first generation biofuel we are going to discuss okay other kinds are also including bioalcohols biogas that is methane and bioethers so let us come to bioethanol okay bioethanol is produced by yeast fermentation we now know what is fermentation okay and it is taking place by the microorganism yeast it is produced from sugarcane molasses which is a by product of the sugar uh, production from sugarcane or sometimes it can be produced from corn itself generally it is mandatory for car engines to mix 10% bioethanol with petrol for better efficiency of the engines that means the present engines can run better if we add this kind of new technology bioethanol or biodiesel that is why they are very much important and they are produced now widely bioethanol is also biodegradable that means it degrades without leaving any toxicity to the earth and also it is very less harmful very less toxic than fossil fuels okay so biofuels their main advantage is they can be blend with petrol okay and they will burn effectively and reduce the particulate air pollution that happens because of combustion of petrol on a large scale let's come to the next one that is biodiesel what is biodiesel they are produced not by fermentation but by transesterification so these are the seeds sunflower seeds rape seeds soybean uh, uh, seeds so these seeds produce oils now when the vegetable oils and the oils are treated with alcohols they produce a different kind of oil different kind of diesel that process is called transesterification okay so by the process of transesterification the animal fats or the plant seeds the oils from the plant seeds that the vegetable oils okay which is coming from soy mustard flax those seeds are converting it into bio diesel car engines can also be added with bio diesel okay along with the mineral diesel and they also are very effective in combustion and bio diesel is also biodegradable and completely non toxic so you can see that that is why these two are very important and they are produced on a large scale in many different countries okay look at the paradox over here now this is your food okay in america if a person in a whole year eats 217 kg of corn it 
can be taken away from them and can be produced 82 liters that is 21.6 gallons of bioethanol or ethanol fuel. Now it is corn. Is it a food or a fuel? What is the paradox? This is actually taking food and converting into the fuel which will decrease the number of food products in the entire world. So that brings us to the food versus fuel competition, the food versus fuel dilemma. It is a large and very serious issue related to US and some other developed countries who are making biofuels from the food items. What is happening here? The biofuel production from food crops are increasing the prices of the food grains. In the year, three years from 2005 till 2008, the United States maize price tripled. The wheat increased 127% of its original price and the rice which is not included in the production of biofuel also increased by 170%. And because corn, maize, these are animal feed, these led to increase in the prices of animal food as well. And ultimately, the prices of fat, oil also increased. So that means the entire inflation is because of producing food for fuel. So that means it is taking out our food. So that can lead to global food crisis. That is a very serious problem to deal with. It is why biofuels should not be produced from only the first generation technique. So how we can tackle this dilemma, this serious issue? There is one method, one way out. And the option is to use the agro residues for fuel. What are agro residues? Agro residues are the products you can see after harvesting the crops produce lot of byproducts. So the byproducts that are obtained after harvesting is agro residues. Now these agro residues can be the option for the source of biofuel. Now let us see how they can be made into biofuel that is possible by the second generation extraction technique. And we need for the studies as well to make it simple and cost effective. Let us see what is the second generation biofuel. So second generation biofuel is extracted from the cellulosic, from the hard and inedible part of the plant like wood. It is obviously difficult to extract from cellulose. And why it is so? Because the cell wall has to be broken down, has to be converted to the sugars, which is a tough process and that is why it requires pretreatment. It cannot be directly fermented like the first generation. It needs a pretreatment before fermentation, okay, to break down the complex polymers that is present in the tough cell wall. So, what are the different pretreatments done for the second generation extraction? They are simply put the boiling of cellulose with acid or alkali. This will break the cellulose that is the tough part of the cell wall of plant which makes the plant parts very tough, very rigid. That rigid cell wall contains cellulose which is actually a polymer which is actually a large unit of sugar. It needs to be broken down in order to get the sugars. So thus we need to boil the cellulose. Then we need to disrupt the structure to get the smaller kind of sugars and ultimately we need the enzymatic hydrolysis enzymes the biocatalyst need to come and break it down into simple sugars. So they all actually incur a high cost. So high cost of enzyme and the product purification techniques that develops a issue a burden in producing lot of second generation techniques. Let us see in India how we can tackle this issue of producing biofuels or from the agro residues. Now if you see the uh, issue related to India, India has about 9.4 million hectares of cotton cultivation. Okay, So the land India has is 9.4 million hectares only dedicated to cotton. 
So, can cotton be uh, converted or can the cotton waste converted into biofuel? It should be and there is a huge potential, okay, because each hectare generates 2 million tons of stock, cotton stock, which is the agro residue of cotton. So, there is a huge potential and let us see who started and made a primary success in making the cotton into fuel and that is some scientists from CSIR, NIIST, okay. They have been able, been successful preliminary to convert waste that is the cotton stock into wealth. Cotton stock that is the 2 million waste from cotton cultivation was taken as raw materials. Let us come to the things which they have done one by one. They have treated with acid and alkali for breakdown of the polymers that is the cellulose part. Then the cellulose was treated with enzymes to convert ultimately into the simple sugars. Okay, So, this pretreatment then glucose can be directly fermented by the strain of yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is the scientific name of the yeast and the strain name is RRP03N. Ultimately, with the entire process, they have obtained more than 99 percent pure fuel grade bioethanol after the distillation and dehydration process in regular distilleries. So, let us see what are the significance it poses for India. India is a major agricultural country as we all know and the, there is a large amount of agro waste. So, if we can convert the best out of waste then we have potential for a massive amount of biofuel industry and we can even export that. Who knows? Reduction of carbon emissions also includes that the Indian environment will be cleaner than uh, just burning the fossil fuels and ultimately it will end up with having a great economic and employment boom in our entire country. So, that bring, brings us to the end of this module. Let us see some questions pertaining to this entire module. Question number 1, look at the following items. There are 4 items given which have been used in our daily life. Which of these are prepared by using yeast? Now, we all have just now studied that yeast makes ethyl alcohol. There is acetic acid, curd and cheese. Now, curd is made by lactobacillus, a different kind of microorganism. Acetic acid is not made by yeast but cheese is also made by yeast. So, that too ethyl alcohol that is the ethanol and cheese. So, 1 and 4 option number C is correct. Let us come to the second question. Biofuels can be extracted by treating the plant cells with alkali followed by enzyme breakdown. This is the pretreatment part that they have uh, told. This converts a major component of plant cell into glucose. What is the major component? It is cellulose. Okay. So, these kind of questions can be related questions to this module. Thus, we come to an end of the module. For such informative videos, tune into learning space.